So you're thinking about moving to Spartanburg, South Carolina, and you want to know the pros and the cons before you move here. Well, I would want to know that too. That's kind of important. So in this video, I'm going to share with you all the good, the bad, everything you need to know about Spartanburg, South Carolina. Let's jump into it. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about Spartanburg, Greenville, and the upstate as a whole, then make sure you hit subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about everything in the upstate. I'm Tracy Roberts with the Atlas Home Team and we want to help you have a smooth transition to the upstate. So whether it's one week from now or if it's a year from now, make sure you reach out to us. All of my information is below, so let's go ahead and jump into the video. So I should start out with, why is it named Spartanburg? Well, it's named after the Spartanburg Regiment that fought at Cowpens, which was a huge part in what won the Revolutionary War. So it got its name Spartanburg from that. It has a couple of nicknames, one being Hub City, and that's what we'll unpack right now. Hub City is because it was the hub for five different railroads that came into connected here, which was pretty cool that it kept that nickname over all these years, right? So let's go ahead and go into pro number one because it kind of wraps into that location. Location is really pretty cool for Spartanburg. You have the airport right here in Greer side of Spartanburg County and it's the GSP airport, Greenville Spartanburg airport. It's an international airport so it can connect you to anywhere in the world pretty much with non-stops going to Baltimore International, Detroit, Atlanta, there's ones to Orlando, LaGuardia. There's lots of places you can go pretty easily. It's an easy airport to use, has lots of um, access um, for parking. It's just a really great easy access airport. Not very expensive either. If that isn't what you want to do and you want to have straight non-stops to say Paris or London, you can drive an hour to get to Charlotte International Airport and be able to do that pretty simply. It's three hours to Atlanta, so it's a really great location right off of 85 for that. It also is kind of like, where I say it's right off of 85, it's kind of right off of 26 too, another highway in our state that makes it easy to get to everything. So 26 runs parallel in our state. And so what that does is it gets you to Charleston from here in about two and a half to three hours. You can get to Asheville in about an hour, which is our mountain area. So you can get to beaches in three hours or you can go to Asheville where the mountains are in an hour. That's phenomenal. There's so many things you can do in this area. The location is just great. great. Another pro would have to be the strong economy with the manufacturing jobs like Michelin, which is a huge company here, as well as BMW. BMW offers an amazing program for their people. Not only do they pay them well, they also offer things in benefits like they can lease cars. Some of them get to lease them for free. Some of them have a nominal fee attached to it. They treat their people really well. There's other businesses that thrive here as well. Restaurants do really well. Educational support services do very well. Um, everything pretty much thrives in this area. The cost of living is so low so low compared to the national average. 93% of the national average is what the cost of living looks like in Spartanburg County. It's crazy, right? The average price of a house here is only $300,000. There's still plenty of land for you to buy a house that's not inside of a neighborhood if that's what you want to do. Or if you wanted to have a house inside of a neighborhood, there's neighborhoods that are brand new, new construction happening. And then there's other neighborhoods that are already well built with mature trees and plenty of neighbors for you to enjoy. So number two would definitely be the cost of living and the affordability that matches that with a thriving economy. Another pro about Spartanburg, South Carolina is the educational system. Not just the public schools and the private schools that the children get to go to. You can check those out on niche.com or greatschools.org if you want to pick which one's best for your child. There are seven colleges here or universities. There's Wofford, there's Converse, there's an extension of University of South Carolina that they call Upstate. All great schools to choose from and several others. One cool feature at Wofford is during July and August, the Carolina Panthers training camp is open to the public for you to watch right on campus. How cool is that? So let's go ahead and get to the next pro where we go over things to do in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Another pro for Spartanburg, South Carolina has to be all the things that there is to do in the community. Where I'm standing right now is part of what happens every Thursday night. It is music on Main and it's really fun. All the vendors and live music and it's just a great time to get out and enjoy your community. Speaking of that, every April is Spring Fling and these same streets are all blocked off. Even more of the streets are blocked off and the whole community comes in. There's music, there's family areas, there's a brewery, there's all kinds of fun 
things to do with that. There's Chapman Cultural Center, which is a really great initiative to have the community arts, not just art that you see, but arts like ballet and things like that that are here. There's a Spartanburg Auditorium that has different people come in for shows and stuff like that. There's so many things to do here. There's even the baseball team that's coming. So it hasn't been here for 30 years, and now the Spartanburgers are coming back from North Carolina to here. They just broke ground. It's a really great place, and we're all looking forward to that in the 2025. So make sure you get a ticket to that if you're in town. There's so many things to do here, like the freight yard. Huh. It's an outdoor entertaining place that has a restaurant and it has this jumbotron screen so you can watch movies or you can watch concerts or any of the football games and stuff like that. It's just a great place for you to enjoy time with your family. So when we think about Spartanburg, a lot of times we don't think about there's things to do, but there's plenty to do here. So let's start unpacking the cons. So one con is public transit might be a little lacking. That could be why I'm trying to stand in front of two bicycles because sometimes it feels like you could get somewhere faster on a bicycle. Okay, so what I mean by that is it's hard to get an Uber sometimes, fresh out of taxis, they're not really here. We're not a major city, um, it's not like New York or anything like that. You do have Lyft and Uber, I don't want to act like they're not here. There is a bus system, you do have to wait on the bus system. It isn't as large, again, I like my major cities. One program I do want to talk about for the special needs community, there is paratransit for the city and then there's dial a ride for the county as a whole. You do have to go through certain channels to be able to make that happen. They are very strict on how they do this though. So if your house is just even one house outside of the limits of what they do, they will not service it. So you have to make sure you're picking the right house for you and your family if you're in the special needs community and you wanna make sure that you can use those systems we need to call and verify every single time to make sure that things don't change so that way you're gonna be fully supported if that's important to you as a special needs family. I do wanna to touch on that. There is a great program, but we just need to double check with that. Now, also, if you think about it, transit is stressful when it comes to traffic. Traffic is frustrating because there's lots of potholes and there's lots of things that need to happen on the roads. There aren't very large shoulders, so there's nowhere for you to really pull off. Um, so when it gets traffic and it's compact, there's nowhere for you to go. Because of this, there's also, they are spending the money, they are doing the job to fix the infrastructure, but the problem when you fix the infrastructure, you're gonna run into the fact that you're going to be spending the money, people are gonna have work, and then you're gonna to have to reroute people, which causes other traffic patterns and it to be congested. So it is frustrating at times, the traffic and the lack of Ubers and things like that. It isn't horrible, but it is a con to some people. One of the cons of Spartanburg County would be the crime rate. So I, as a licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina, am not able to share with you crime rate stats. I'm not dodging this, I promise. You would go to neighborhoodscout.com if you wanna get all the information about what I'm talking about. It is something that startles some people and then other people are not startled at all. But I wanna make sure you know, it's not that I don't wanna answer the question because I hold a license um, for real estate in South Carolina, I'm legally not able to. The next one can either be a con or it can be a pro, just depending on your opinion. It's the weather. The weather is really, really hot during the summer and the summer stretches for the majority of the year. Our fall and spring are short, but when they are here, they are mighty fun. The crisp air and all the fun things to do in it are awesome. Our winter can get kind of nasty, um, an ice storm every few years, um, but the snow isn't bad. We get like maybe two to five inches and we only get that maybe two to five years um, um, not every year or anything like that. So it's not crazy. Where we talk about the crazy part is occasionally we may get a tornado. We haven't had crazy, crazy ones. Un I mean, I'm thankful for that. Um, where it's not like Oklahoma or like Nashville has had, and we definitely empathize for those people. And I don't want to make it sound like it's anything like that and we're anything in comparison. I don't want to like trivialize what they've gone through. But it is scary if you've never heard of having a tornado anywhere near you and then you end up having a tornado. And there has been some to sit down um, sometimes in Spartanburg County and Greenville County and things like that. Also during the summer, the humidity is pretty gnarly. And when I say gnarly, I mean bad. It is June 19th. It is 90 degrees outside. I'm standing in the shade for a reason because it is scorching. My hair is not liking me right now, okay? 
it may not be a big deal to you if you're coming from Florida. You may say, I'll take that 90 degrees gladly. And then there's people that are coming from the north or Midwest, they don't want 90 degree weather. So just know that that's there. Allergies are horrendous here. I've taken a Zyrtec this morning, a Flonase um, spray. We take care of everything because we know that allergies are gonna be always something blooming is what a Southerner would say. The one thing you'll hear when they smell something or something makes their allergies twitch, they'll say, I smell something blooming. Something's gotta be in the air. It's the weirdest thing I had to learn when I got here. <laughs> You'll think it's funny too if you move here. So weather would definitely be either a con to some people or it might be a pro to some people. Another con for the area would be growth. The area has grown by 2.9% year over year, making it the eighth fastest growing metropolitan area in the United States. That's nuts. And while that may not seem like a big deal to most people and it's great, there's some things that happen. The infrastructure we talked about earlier can be a challenge. The schools getting filled up faster than they can build them. Not that that's superior, like, like happening severely, and yet it is a little stressful. The traffic, going out to restaurants, things like that may stress people out. They may not want to be on a highway and have a whole bunch of people. So that does bother some people, especially people who've lived here for all their life. They don't really love that influx of people. Now, so there you have it. All the pros and cons that you need to know about living in Spartanburg, South Carolina. So if you have any questions about living in Spartanburg or anywhere in the Greenville and the upstate area, make sure you reach out to me, Tracy Roberts with the Atlas Home Team. We'd love to help you have a smooth transition to the upstate. All of my information is below. Make sure you tap here to see more videos videos just like this.